Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. How are you? Fine. I am fine, teacher. Good. Thank That's you. good. <laughs> so we're, well, for us, we're in the middle of the week because uh, we finish our week. I mean, the classes we finish on, on Thursday. So today is Wednesday for us. Tomorrow will be Thursday. And then on Thursday, it's going to be Friday. I'm not sure, but uh, this is the middle of the week, but uh, I am not, uh, el ombligo de la semana? The belly bottom. The belly bottom. Belly bottom, okay. Uh -huh. This is the belly bottom, teacher. Yeah, the belly bottom of week. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it is. It is. We are almost finishing the year. Yes, this is the reason of the uh, dance, belly dance, no? Yep. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's like the dance of the belly. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they used to dance, the belly. Hi, Vanya. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, very good. Nice. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. So I think everybody's watching the, the game. The El Salvador is playing right now, right? El Salvador versus Panama, I think. Uh, I think the football is the, I don't know, opium of the... Of the, <laughs> of the... <laughs> I don't know, de los pueblos of the countries. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the religion and the football is the opium of the, <laughs> of the countries. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, people get, get very excited for both things, either for religion or for sports. People get very excited. Very and excited. Of, uh, for the, I don't know, politic. This is the other, yeah. the other, uh, I don't know, topic that uh, produce a long discussion, and I, I think it's not the good thing uh, at the time of the lunch, for example, yeah. or of the time of the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's not a good topic. I mean, you can speak about those things with some people, not with all of people, because there are some people that get offended. There's some people that they do not like to share ideas. And at the end, it's it's complicated. It's complicated. Uh, always I remember a lesson uh, from the Violeta Chamorro. Mm -hmm. uh, she told uh, to, to uh, I think, to interviewer mm -hmm. uh, that the, uh, she doesn't have, a, she didn't have, no, she doesn't have problem with the family or with her, her, her daughters and her sons mm -hmm. uh, because uh, she didn't uh, talk about the politics and religion uh, during the- When they were uh, a child. Uh, yes, uh, during the dinner. Oh, okay. Uh, Christmas dinner or I don't know. Yeah, those are this controversial. This is a good advice, teacher. <laughs> it is, it is because it's very controversial. Controversial. I mean, it's- uh, I, and as I was saying, like, I know that sometimes you can speak. There's people that they like to speak. I have people that they like to speak a lot about religion. Uh, so, and we have like two different opinions, but we respect each other. And it's like, okay, you think that, okay, that's good. I think that, and we share ideas. So it's good. But for dinner, no, I don't think that's good. <laughs> so, but those are interesting topics. Politics, religion, well, food, uh, maybe soccer, no. I mean, I don't like sports. I'm, I'm not really into sports at all. Um, I watched uh, some games, but it's not that I get excited. It's like, okay, go El Salvador, but that's it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a big fan. But there's people that, yes, they are very excited. Like, for example, if you mentioned a topic like uh, Real Madrid and, and Barcelona. So there are people that they get crazy. Like, no, the, the Real Madrid is better or is the best or the other team is the best and blah, blah. And it's like, 
Yeah. <laughs> and they fight uh, about they this do. this kind of things. They do. They do. It's complicated, but we have to respect everybody. And well, if they love those things, well, I get excited for other things. Like for example, music. I get excited with music. I like to go to concerts. Um, I like to watch like live music. Um, I, I enjoy, I mean, I'm like a big fan of, uh, of metal music, like rock music. And when I go to, to a concert, it's like, I get very excited. So I think the same happened with people watch a, a game when they watch. A, yes. Yeah. Uh, how about theater teacher? Do I you like, like to go to the theater? I do. I do. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's pretty good. I, it's like, I mean, I don't consider it like same like a movie because there you can feel like the expression of the people doing the things there is like more real than into a movie. I mean, they are actually doing it there. They are leaving the characters. So it's, it's pretty good. I really like the theater. I, I don't have, it's not that I don't have time to go. It's, okay. I, I may say that it's my kid is the problem because I mean, he's a kid. So he, he will be like getting bored and will start crying. But it's good. I have a surprise because oh. in Santa Tecla, I think it's open a new uh, place, uh, really? Chaplin Theater. Oh, really? Where? Yes, in the uh, in the uh, Paseo El Carmen. Uh huh. Uh, in front of the uh, I don't know uh, palace, municipal uh, palace. It's new okay. for me because I oh, today I saw the. I don't know, letrero. The sign. <laughs> the sign? The sign. Uh -huh. It's the yeah. sign uh, of Chaplin Theater. Oh, but I don't good. have the, the, I don't, the schedule. I don't know. The schedule, uh huh. The schedule, uh huh. But uh, it's good for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There should be more theaters. Theaters are good. Great. So, well, I see we have. Uh, Eight people now so i think that everybody's watching the game so let's start so good evening everybody how are you you good fine thank you very good excellent very good. great Tricia, how are you i'm good thank you great noemi hi oh okay I hope you get well. That's fine, no worries. All right, Francisco, good evening. Dolores, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How, how are you? I'm fine. Great. Francisco, can you hear us? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Good evening, good evening everyone. Great. We have Elvis too. Hi, Elvis. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Sorry. That's fine. Okay. So let's start. Uh, do you remember what we saw yesterday? Which? Yes. Exactly, wish. Yes. Exactly. Do you remember how to make wishes? How to make? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you get any example right now? Just one? Just one example. Somebody? I wish. Huh? I had a new car. Very good. I wish you had a new car. Excellent. So that's basically it. Just a, a refresher. You use subject, you use wish, subject, verb in past, and a complement. So great. That's good. So uh, in order for we can start, and as we always do, uh, we're going to do it in speaking again. Uh, Definitely, yes, that's something, good wish. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, I, I wish that too. 
make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all wish that. We love our grandmas. We do, we do definitely love our, our grandmas. So uh, we're going to start speaking. Uh, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to make groups. Um, and we're going to do an activity. I hope you like this activity. I'm excited for this. Let me show you my screen so you can see the instructions. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. All right. So uh, the activity is this. What you are going to do right now is to think about a movie. Just think about the name of a movie. It could be your favorite movie, a movie that you just saw, um, any movie you like. And what we are going to do is we're going to be in couples, in, um, in a group of three, four. And each of you is going to describe the movie. So you're going to start telling the movie. And then one of the team members that are in the group is going to guess the name of the movie. So uh, we're going to do it like this. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, I will start. So uh, one of my favorite movie, I really love this movie. It's about uh, two, the main two characters. There is an auger and there is a donkey. Uh, the auger, uh, <laughs> okay, Yolanda? Shrek. Exactly, <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Exactly, that was the movie. Good. So, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to describe your favorite movie. Uh, it could be also a sitcom, uh, a serie, and the other people needs to guess what is the name of the movie or the sitcom. Okay. So, is everybody ready? Yes. Let's go then. So, let me make the groups here. Let's see, has to be two at least. Okay. So, so here we go. So join to the groups and start describing your favorite movie. Can you hear me, Mauricio? Can you hear me? Hi. I don't know what happened, teacher. I am alone in the group. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I think you were gonna do it with Mauricio. So just let's wait for Mauricio to connect. Uh, me, well, Mauricio's here, no? Right now. Yes, he's here, but I think he's having issues with the uh, with the audio because oh. it says like that his device is connecting, but I don't know what happened to him. So I think that the 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 earphones, it's the the thing is the problem. So if you want, we can start. You can start describing to me the. Your favorite movie? I will guess it. Would you? Yep. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite movie is about uh, a little fish. Okay. <laughs> a little orange fish. <laughs> okay, I know what it is. <laughs> I 
yes, but, I but, know. No, but, but continue, continue, continue. But um, uh, 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 this uh, little orange fish uh, is found. No, it's fine to. Oh, it's finding. It's finding to uh, his father, and he's in company, uh, he's looking for. He's looking mm -hmm. for his. <laughs> he's looking for uh, his father, and in company with uh, another fish. Uh, the the color of this other fish is blue. Uh, it's a female fish, mm -hmm. and then uh, they. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they uh, travel around. Uh, travel. Travel. Around the travel around the seas, mm -hmm. uh, looking for uh, his father, and they uh, I don't they uh, find a lot of problems. Yep, they find uh, a lot of problems. A lot of problems, uh, but uh, finally uh, they find they I they they find uh, his father. Yes, <laughs> finding Nemo. <laughs> yes, teacher, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. Yes, I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I have another, I mean, like most of my favorite movies are like cartoon movies. I really like those type of movies. Um, and this one I'm going to describe. Let's see if you can uh, guess it. Uh, this movie is about... Um, the main three character characters are uh, a bear, a panther, and a kid. <laughs> oh, but you continue, teacher. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, this uh, this little kid is found by a, a, a group of, uh, of wolves. They take care of him. At the end, he like become like a wolf kid. And there is a, a, a lion there named, uh, well, I will not say the name, but there is a lion there who wants to uh, kill that kid because he wants to be It's a panther, no? No, it's a lion. The lion, lion wants, yeah. No, the, tiger. Yeah, tiger. Exactly. Tiger, tiger. A tiger, yes. yes it's a tiger. <laughs> There's a tiger that wants to kill the kid because he wants to be like the, the king of there and the place and everything. At the end, uh, they get in a lot of troubles with monkeys and many things. And at the end, he's able to, to defeat this mm -hmm. tiger and they be happy for happily ever after. <laughs> How about the snake teacher? Oh, yeah. I, did. Yes. I, for, I forgot the snake. Yes. yes. Uh, I don't, the I don't panther. Remember. <laughs> the I don't remember panther. the name. What was the name of the snake? snake. Do you remember? Uh, I don't know, but the name of the panther is Bahira. Yeah, and uh -huh. the name of the beer is a uh, balloon. Balu. Mowgli is the Mowgli. kid. Yeah. Is the name of the kid, and I, I don't remember the, the tiger is. Um, it's, I don't uh, remember. Sure can. I see sure can. I the snake. I don't remember. But I don't remember is, the name of the snake. This is a one of the of my favorite books. Oh. And for my father, this is his favorite book. Oh really? Uh, yes, uh, my uh, grandfather uh, gave him uh, this book when was a uh, what's what's ch his child? No, when what's, when, when he was when, when he was a, kid. a child, oh, a, uh -huh, child. A, kid, a kid. Yes, and uh, he enjoyed this book. Yeah, I, I haven't read the book, but uh, the movie I love it. I really love yes. the movie. Yeah, definitely. but the movie is uh, is uh, it's it's different, about, right? Uh, no teacher, but it's more, uh, I don't know, uh, like soft, yeah, more soft, but uh, the uh, principal uh, issues mm -hmm. uh, are in the movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. The Jungle Book, it's yes. great. <laughs> yes, yes. Mauricio, uh, can you hear us? I think he's having issues with the audio. Yes, he's having issues right now. So if you want, I'm going to put you in another group so you can yes, uh, practice Please. with the rest of the team. So let me move you here. I'm going to put you here. All right. So join to the group. OK, thank you very much. Sure.
Yeah. Hi. Hi. Did you guess the movies already? Yes. Okay. What were your movies? Can somebody of you describe yours? Okay. I describe your. Okay. Uh, the movie is from uh, Will Smith. Okay. Uh, what happened in the movie? Let me see. Uh, he tries to be successful with okay. his son. He live well. Well, they live on the street mm -hmm. because he separated from from her wife. Mm -hmm. He 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 bought some doctor device. Mm -hmm. And he tried to sell, but he didn't sell them. And then he 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 worked in the stock market, uh, la bolsa de valores. Yes, stock market. Stock market, and and he became one of the richest men. Do you know what what is? Yes, I know. <laughs> Pursuit of Happiness, super good yeah. movie. Yeah. Yes. Pursuit of the Happiness best. is great. I, I cried. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I cried. <laughs> I did cry. It's very good. That's nice. It's nice. Yeah, it is. Did you know the movie, Francisco? Yeah, yeah teacher. I like. You like very, the movie? Very actual movie. Oh, okay. But. Uh, I want to talk about uh, a movie mm -hmm. uh, about um, uh, a man. Okay. Um, he transforming. He transforms. He transforming in a big monster. Okay. Um, in a big monster. Um, and the finally is. is it's tragic. Tragic. How just, how tragic. Uh, this final is, is tragic. Okay. The final is tragic. And, and the main monster is the color of green. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So it's the Hulk. What's the name? <laughs> the Hulk? Hulk? Okay. Yes. Great. Excellent. That's good. Very good, good explanations. Uh, keep practicing. If you want to share another movies or likes, that will be good. Great job, you did it good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Race Anatomy. <laughs> no, the Good Doctor. Uh, this is the name of the series? Or what, or yes. what? Ah, okay. Uh, this is the name and I like, um, because it's very interesting. The principal actor is, he is um, Aussies. Okay. Aussies. Hi, what are you doing here? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> I'm just listening, I'm just listening. Very good job, by the way. So continue speaking about the good doctor. Yes, uh, the principal actor is okay. Mm -hmm. um, he is uh, Aussie's and he is the best um, cirujano. How, how can I say? Uh, it's a uh, surgeon. 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 Mm -hmm. Surgeon. He surgeon. is the best surgeon. And the other doctors, um, don't confian. Trust. They don't trust the other doctor. They don't trust him. Mm -hmm. They don't okay. trust him because he is out this. Oh. But, but he is the best. Um, oh, Siri. Um, it's about um, miracle. Uh, <laughs> it's come on. Como él resuelve todo, 
este, siendo autista y es el mejor cirujano. <ríe> ok. <ríe> the doctor is, out, is an autist. Mm -hmm. okay. autist. And handsome, by the way. <ríe> <ríe> All right, very um, good. Um, ok. So I speaking. never heard about this, this series. It's a good I never heard. Oh, I never heard about this uh, series. I have never heard. I have never heard about this series. Hmm. I've been meaning to go. Okay. Uh, yes, it, it's uh, an excellent. That's uh, an excellent movie. That all the all the the moments that he passed for to, uh, to try to be better person and to develop in the society of the, the Wall Street. No, but he was a very, very, very uh, con consistent or Perseverante la palabra. How do, how do you say perseverante? Something like that. Perseverante. Uh -huh. How do you like, say perseverante? Let me look for it because I'm not remember. Uh, uh -huh. Perseverance. Perseverant. Like that. <laughs> Something like persistent. that. Persistent. 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 Or he take advantage of the situation. Uh -huh. Persistent in, 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 in his goal. And... At the le at the end, he he reached them. He mm -hmm. bet all that all that the moment that he passed was a very very strong mm -hmm. because in in that society you don't have in the United States you don't have something to help you. No, and but the the trauma is he has with his. He developed all that thing with his son, no, and to stay the son in the in the daycares, and uh, and he don't he never have money for to pay, and <laughs> oh, was uh, it it's an excellent movie. I like, I really like a lot. That's good. Do do you know what is the name, Elvis and Noemi? Do you know the name of the movie? Uh Happiness. Uh-huh. Uh, I forget the last it's one. Pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. Yes, yes, pursuit of happiness. That's a great movie. Really good. Yeah, that's a great movie. Excellent. So continue the rest. Describing your movies. Uh, hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Did you describe your movies already? Uh, Not yet. Okay. So uh, you did know that you just uh, get in. So what we're doing is yes. uh, we are describing a movie. Uh, for example, you mm -hmm. are going to describe a movie for Irving, and Irving mm -hmm. is going to guess what's the name of the movie. Yeah, thank you so much, teacher. Yeah, that's why I asked. Um, to Irving and he explained to me okay. the activity, but I'm I uh, I'm so thankful with you. I was explaining to Irving that uh, sorry for coming late because no uh, um, it was a lot of traffic. I can imagine. So no worries. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Okay. That Thank almost you. happens every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I yeah. wish yeah. we didn't have traffic uh, <laughs> <me> too. <laughs> yeah me too yeah all right do you have a, a movie in the top of your head right now judith um yeah something like that um okay. go ahead okay uh i don't have to say the name right exactly mm -hmm. just describe the, uh, a little bit about the movie right exactly what happened in the movie mm -hmm. okay um it's about a girl and who wished 
um, to um, I don't know how to say, it, but uh, wish to be adult. Okay, and, wish to um, be an adult. Yeah, uh, like thirty years. Uh, she wanted to be glorious, professional, and uh, I'm talking about a girl who was 13 years, I guess, but she um, she started to play with a group of girls, a group of friends, and she wished to have 30 years to be glorious, professional, and something like that. And um, uh, that happened to her. After wow. that, she, <laughs> She didn't know how to how to happen, but um, in that moment, um, yeah, she was glorious, professional, an adult. I don't know if you have heard about that movie or, or no. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't seen the movie, but <laughs> I I remember when I was uh, changing channels on the television <laughs> uh this movie is about uh uh the main act actress is uh jennifer gardner right yeah yes, yes you got it's it maybe it's 13 going to 30 yeah. the movie yes. good yes. Evan. Yes. good <laughs> that was good Yes. Okay. Good. Good, Irving. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I haven't Thank heard. You. I mean, I haven't seen the movie. I was like thinking, like, okay, she wanted to be Terry, glorious, mm -hmm. professional. Yes. Uh, no, I don't remember. Yes. <laughs> yes. But after that, yeah. Um, well, I think that um, after that, she regrets to wish how I said thirty years, uh, because she was a girl. Um, with 13 years, I guess, 12 or 13. And um, I just think that we have to be careful with the things that we wish. I think that happens to us. Like when we reach uh, 30, we wish we mm -hmm. wish had 13 again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, yeah, we're gonna go back to our, our, uh, our father's house. Childhood. Exactly, being at school. Like yeah. watch TV in the whole afternoon. Yeah, not yeah. work. Exactly, not work. <laughs> Maybe not... you you think that uh, you didn't enjoy the time that you when you were a teenager. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's and that, true. And that's when you understand when your father used to say like, enjoy your time or uh, play mm -hmm. right now or mm -hmm. whatever things because now we know that. Uh, that time it's never come back and yeah. paying the bills it's bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so super great job uh i think Thank we're gonna you, go teacher. back to okay. our main uh group so let me get here <laughs> All Which right. I have the the name of the of the snake is Ka. Ka, yes, yes, yes exactly yes. this. And I think the um, the monkey is the King Louis. King Louis, yeah, yeah. I, I I really like that song. I really like it. That song and also the bird necessities. To go to bird necessities, the simple bird necessities. I really like that song. I really like it. <laughs> have you ever watched uh, uh, the, I mean, the, the whole group, have you ever watched uh, the, the Jungle Book? Have you ever seen that movie? The Jungle Book? El Libro de la Selva? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes. Yeah. I watched yeah. it. Did you, did you like it? Yes, I like it. 
It's good. I, I watched with my daughter when she was uh, five or six yeah. years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that movie it's awesome. I'm the, like the two movies that I watched a lot when I was a kid. It was The Jungle Book and The Lion King. Yes. Those movies, wow, they are so good. So good. So, I, yes, go ahead. I watched this movie with my daughter too, Sorry? but uh, she's uh, 33 years now. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's a long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, I asked uh, Rafael, how old is she? She is 21 years old. Wow. So yeah, it was <laughs> a long time ago. Yes, a long time ago. Yeah, that's good. And that, 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 that's really good. Really good. So uh, thank you very much. You did a great job. I went to many rooms and you were speaking about your movies. Like if we weren't actually learning English, I mean, you were like just hanging out and just speaking. And like, if you were speaking Spanish, so that's great. Very good. So good job, everybody. Ooh. Yes. So now we're going to go into a uh, topic. Let's see. <clears throat> so today we're going to see a topic that it's kind of complicated, uh, but not too much. Um, and you can confirm if you have already seen these. Have you ever seen the present perfect? I think yes. Yes, right? Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> we're gonna make a little review because we're gonna be seeing the two topics. Actually, this is the name of the, of the, of the class for today. And we're going to make it in two parts. Today, we're going to see just this, the present perfect. And tomorrow, we're going to be seeing simple past versus person perfect. So how can we combine the two in order to uh, provide more information? And uh, we will explain you that tomorrow. But today, we're going to make a review about the present perfect. So <clears throat> the present perfect, it's a tense that we use uh, to talk about action that started in the past, but continue in the present. So, and this is when we start to make the difference between the simple past and the present perfect. Because the simple past is an action that finished, that it's no longer active. For example, I can say, I went to the park. So it means that I went like okay, two, two days ago, two hours ago, and the action is finished. I complete it. But I can say, I have been studied, or I have studied um, English for five years, and I continue studying. So it's an action that I started five years ago, but I still doing it in the present, all right? And we're going to see some examples here. Um, we have the first one, I have lost my purse. That means that I lost it. And so far, it's still lost. So once you have found it, then you can say a complete sentence. Una vez ya encuentre su, su, su um, what is the name of the purse? Cartera. Cartera, thank you. <laughs> so once he found the cartera, then I easy to poder decir, okay, I lost my purse, but I found it. La perdí, pero la encontré. But so far, it's still lost. I have lost my purse y no la he encontrado. We haven't seen her today. We still within the day, seguimos en el día, and I haven't seen her. Tomorrow, then I can say, I didn't see you. Ya mañana yo puedo decir, I didn't see you. Because el día ya se completó, it's completed. So I didn't see you. But right now, right now that it's 8.40, I haven't seen you. Or I, we haven't seen her today. Has she met John? Has conocido a John? O ya conociste a John? Where have you been? All this time, today, 
this whole week. We're still within the week. Where have you been? So that's actually how we use the present perfect. Remember, it's to talk about an action that started in the past and continue in the present. Do you have any questions so far with this? You too. Yes. Would you tell me in Spanish, where have you been? You been? Where have you been is donde has estado. Okay, thank you. Sure. So, any questions? Any other questions? No. Oh. No. Okay. Well, it's like an opinion that not, not, not there's a question. It's about, it's like you say in Spanish, um, he estado, he leído, he exactly. comido, he ido, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. We can see or we can say like have. Se, puede, se podría traducir como he. Eh. Yo uh -huh. he perdido. Nosotros no te hemos visto. Eh, uh -huh. Has conocido. So we can say like have. It's like he eh in Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Sure. And let's see here an example. To see this in context in a little text. Uh, does somebody wants to read this paragraph for me? Me. Okay, go uh, ahead. My name is Amira. I am from Venezuela, but I live in Dallas. I have lived in Dallas for five years. I like it here very much because I can improve my English. I have always loved the English language. I have learned English science. I was since. in high school since. I was in high school. Living in the States has been very interesting. I have met so many nice people. They are from all over the world. It has been a great experience so far. Very good. Thank you, Sophia. So if you see here in context, uh, this person is talking about her experience in the United States. She's still living in the United States. So everything that has happened so far happened, it started in the past, but it's still in the present because she's still living in the United States. So, for example, we have the first one. It says, uh, I have lived in Dallas for five years. And she still lives in Dallas. I like it here very much. I can improve my English. I have always loved the English language. And might be that she's still loving the English language. Um, I have learned English since I was in high school. And she still... Um, uh, uh, learn, she's still learning English so far. Um, living in the state has been very interesting and it's still interesting. I have met so many nice people and she's still meeting nice people. Um, it has been a great experience so far and it's still been a great experience. So this is just for you to get like clear idea how it's make how it something started in the past and continue in the present questions so far any questions no no for the moment very good excellent so and as you have seen there is an structure that you like you have to follow and this is something that i'm going to actually share to you right now and it's about the, just give me one second. Uh, uh, where are you? This is not you. I don't, okay. So I'm gonna uh, send to you um, a list of verbs. As in the past, we use verbs in past, but for a present perfect, we use verbs in, the past participle. So 
we are going to use subject. We're going to use have as a as an auxiliary verb. Then we're going to use the verb in past participle, and finally a complement. And we can see here some examples. For example, I have lived in Dallas. So with the past participle verbs, there are some verbs that are similar to the, to the regular verbs in the simple past, but there are another ones, I'm sorry, there are another ones that are completely different. They are irregular verbs. Let's see if we have one here, uh, loved, um, okay, B, this one. So living in the States has been, the present is B, the past is was or where, and the past participle is been, all right? I have met, present is meet, past is met, and past participle is met as well. Another example, it could be go, go, present, went, past, uh, gone, past participle. So you have to be careful with this, with the, with this, uh, with the verb that you're going to use. Um, let me go ahead and get here this for you pretty quick. Just let me stop sharing here. So I can uh, share to you the, the list of the verbs in your cell phone so you can use them for the exercise that we're going to do. So just give me one second so I can pull up these here. So, so far, do you have any questions on regards of the, of the verbs, uh, on regards of the structure so far? Yes, no, everything's good? No. Okay. No, teacher, thank you. Very good. So just let me pull up these here. It will take a little time here. All right, so while this thing loads, we're gonna continue. Uh, okay, so this is the structure that we're going to use. Uh, the list, I'm gonna send it to you in a moment. So, but just for we can continue, uh, the structure will be this for positives. Uh, one thing that you have to remember it's here that it could be have or it could be has. Why has, you're gonna use it for the third person singular and have for the rest of the subjects, okay? So you're gonna be using subject, have or has, Verb in past participle and the complement. For the negative, you're gonna use subject, have with NT, you will say haven't or hasn't or not. You can say have not, the verb in past participle and the complement. Then we have the just no questions. For just no questions, we do this. We put the, sub, the, the auxiliary verb first have or has, then the subject, the verb in past participle, and the complement. And this is important for this type of question because if you remember in past, we used to, uh, to put, if we have did here, then the verb will be in present. But with have, we place it in the past participle. Eso no cambia. Si ustedes se recuerdan, en the, simple in the simple past, we said, did you go? So the verb, we put it in present. Here, we're going to say differently. Have you gone? We're still going to use the verb in the past participle, okay? And then we use a complement. And then we used uh, for WH questions, we have the same structure, but we just use WH question at the beginning. And then we use have or has, subject, verb in past participle, complement, and always remember to place a question mark. So 
you can uh, establish that it's a question. And we have some examples here. I have lost my purse, subject, have, past participle verb, complement. We haven't seen her today. We haven't, past participle verb, and complement. Just no question, has she met John? Has, a subject, past participle verb, and complement. And the WH question, where have you been? WH question, have, subject, and past participle verb. Questions so far? Any question? Anyway. No. Oh, very good. Okay, so let's practice now then. We have here some uh, sentence that they are like an scramble. So I need you to unscra scramble them. Um, you need to unscramble them to make either sentences in positive or negative and questions, either just no questions or WH questions, all right? So let me give you uh, three minutes so you can complete them, all right? Remember that if it has uh, a question mark, it means it's a question. You have to make sure if it's a WH question or a just yes, not question. You use have for I, for you, or we, or they, and you use has for he, she, or it or the name of a person or object. So let me know once you have finished. I finished. Very good. Thank you, Rafael. Okay, so let's start making them uh, so we can everybody get the, the answers. So let's start with number one. Who wants to do number one? Me. Okay, go, Sofia. I have kept, kept 
a pet for three years. Okay. Can you spell the 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 verb? Uh, no, no, I don't remember. Have, have, have. <laughs> yeah, have. Perdón. Okay. You have. I I know the keep keep kept kept is with K E P T. Very good, excellent. That's correct. That's the, the past participle of keep. Good, Sophia. I yeah. have kept a pet for three years. Okay, very good. Thank you. Who wants to do number two? Um, Me, teacher. Go, Rafael. Have you eaten Thai food before? Very good. Have you eaten? Eaten. Eaten. It's like eaten. Mm, yeah, like mm, eaten. put in like uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Eat. So have you eaten Thai food? Eating. Yeah. Have you eaten Thai food before? Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Rafael. Number three. How do you spell eaten? Have you eaten? A T A. It's A. Uh -huh. T E N. Uh, it's like eight, but with N. Let me get this spelling here. E T. Let's look for it. Uh, I think it's eaten. No. Eat. Let me get it good for you because it's. E A. It's E. It's A E A T A T A N. E A T A N. E A T E N. Eaten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Let's see. Let me. Me, let teacher. See. All right. Go. Has it rained all day? Very good. Has it rained all day? Good. Excellent. Number four. Me, teacher. Go. Um, who have we forgotten to invite? Okay, so say, say, say it again. Um, is something wrong? <laughs> no, say it again. Say it again. No worries. Okay. Who have, who have we forgotten to invite? Good. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> All right. Number five. Me, teacher. Go. We haven't heard that song already. Great. Excellent. We haven't heard that song already. Number six. Volunteers. Number six. He has not for. for Forget, forgetting his books. Mm, what's the past participle of forget? Forgot. forgot. That's the past. Forget, yes. forgot, forgotten. 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 Yes. Very good. So can you say it again? He hasn't forgotten his book. Excellent. He hasn't forgotten his book. Great. Number seven. Me Seven. teacher. Go. She had stolen all the chocolate. She? No, but then it's a question. No. Number seven, is it? Yep, number seven. Yes, she has stolen all the chocolate. Exactly. She has stolen all the chocolate. Stolen. Yep, excellent. Number eight. And me teacher. Go. Can I participate again? Sure, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Everyone. Go, go, go. No worries. Okay. Um, have I explained it well? Excellent. Have I explained it well? Good. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks. Number nine. Me, teacher. Go. Who, who has he met recently? Excellent. Who has he met recently? 
Very good. Number 10. Me teacher. Go. How have we finished already? Say it again. How have we finished already? Excellent. That's correct. Good job, Francisco. Excellent job, team. So this is so far the, the present perfect. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue with, we're gonna make a, 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 a little practice uh, in, I mean, a speaking practice so we can get this straight. Uh, do you have any questions so far? Nope, okay. No teacher, no. Very good. So good night, everybody. Thank you very much again for joining this uh, uh, class. We're gonna see tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for Thank the you. class. Good teacher. night. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night.